Hi, my name is Rashawn Williams, and I am the founder and owner of Spiritually Divine Catering, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make shrimp and grits my way. So go ahead and follow me. So right now we have um, our shrimp marinating. I marinated this overnight um, in some chicken stock, um, regular water with some hot sauce, and then some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and um, with some lorry seasoning sauce. So you got to have it up in there too because um, that's the good stuff. Then we're gonna make some sausage as well on the side. We have our grits, the old fashioned, because that's the best. Um, some minced garlic, because we're gonna be adding that in there. And of course, some the three cheeses, because I love some cheese in my grits. Right now, I have about half of the marinade going ahead and bubbling and reducing down in this pot right here, because um, I'm gonna make the gravy with it, because it has a lot of different flavors. So let's go ahead and start by cooking our shrimp. I'm gonna turn down this marinade on the back for a little bit and turn this eye on. You're gonna start it off with a little bit of uh, bacon grease. Actually, that's gonna give a little bit more flavor to the shrimp. So go ahead and add about half a tablespoon of bacon grease. Go ahead and get your shrimps. And you're gonna throw them in there. You wanna be careful with your shrimps. This was already frozen shrimp that I had thawed out and left in the night, oh, left overnight to freeze, um, to marinate. And you want to be careful because it's already pre-cooked. So you want to make sure that you're not overcooking the shrimp whatsoever because nobody won't know the chili shrimp. It's not going, okay. it's steep. Okay. <laughs> um, so go ahead and just throw them in there as you can. I'm using my hand just because I want not to throw too many of them at a time. And I don't want to have all that juice in there as well because you really want them to uh, saute mostly and not, you know, boil. <laughs> You'll know when they're ready in about two or three minutes, you'll flip them over and they should have a good color on each side. They should start to turn a little pink and get a tad bit smaller than the other side like that. So that's about enough shrimp at one time. You don't want to overstuff the pan so that the shrimp can get a good color. Turn it on high because you really do want the shrimp to get a nice color. And when I go back over here to our marinade, you can see it's reduced down to a good level. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to a low so it can just be on a low boil while I'm letting my shrimp cook. And we're gonna go ahead and start on the grits. Wash your hands because you touch raw meat. Make sure you're washing your hands properly, getting in between the fingers, the nails, everything. So go ahead and take your grits. Now, when you're making grits, you wanna make sure that you get the proportions correctly. So go ahead and look on the back, see how many you serve, and it gives you the time for one, four, and six. I'm gonna make serving enough for eight, six cups of water. Okay. Like I said, um, I'm using, I'm serving enough for eight, so I want to use eight cups of water. Um, so go ahead and just fill this up. I'm using hot water just so it will boil a little bit quicker and it's a little bit more bearable. I'm also doing it in a skillet and not a pot, just because skillets um, allow more flavor and more heat to get through, which cooks the grits a kind of bit more faster, especially when you're making a lot. Can you can you create can you recreate the excitement that you felt when you found out you had a thousand likes on your photo? Well, imagine the excitement I felt when I saw you know three thousand on there. It was real. Honestly, I was just grateful to have all that support, and it was great. Um, absolutely loved it. It really did have my heart on ten that day, and I could not go to sleep. Um, Y'all like you barely got some likes. I was like, but still, to me, that was like. Wow, look at all the support and just the different things that I had going on that day. Um, it just was really good. The website is coming soon, so look, watch out for that. Um, and let's get back to cooking. The water's at a low simmer right now. It's almost done boiling. I had a little bit more water to the back of my marinade just because I reduced it down to almost 
just the seasonings and the flavoring. I can go ahead and turn this heat off. Now this marinade is good for anything else. If you want to have chicken in there, beef in there, you can keep that. Um, more shrimp if you want to marinate in there. Um, but it's good for about two to three days. So don't overuse it, but don't underuse it as well. Um, I did er marinate some chicken earlier and I do got some barbecue chicken in the refrigerator that I made yesterday. Um, and then I'll put the shrimp in there yesterday at night and marinate that. So this morning I can do the shrimp and grits. Water is uh, simmering. So we're gonna go ahead and do the measurements for the grits and get that all prepared. So I have my measuring cup. There is a difference between dry measuring cups and then uh, measuring cups for liquid. So I'm using this just to hold it because there's a lot in there. But at the same time, be careful when you're measuring it because sometimes this will be more than this one. So with us, we, we like to have a little bit of sausage in our grits. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cook the sausage and cut them up. I'm only using four, and this is just the original sausage. You can use hot, you can use any brand you want. Um, but these are just the regular sausage patties. They're pretty decently thick, so I'm only using four. But cook as many as you want, kind of, however you want to cook them. You can see this water is coming to a rapid boil now, so we're going to prepare to add our grits in there. Like I said earlier, we're adding eight cups of water, so you're adding two cups of grits to your eight cups of water. Okay, so for the grits, you want to always grab a whisk, and you want to continuously whisk the grits as you add them in slowly. So I have about um, a teaspoon of salt in here, and uh, eight cups of boiling water, and I'm adding two cups of grits. So just kind of stir it as you're adding it in there. Now y'all hear that sizzle, that sauce is gonna be good. Too. You do want to turn it down to medium heat. Uh, you can already see it's popping and bubbling, so let that do what it's gonna do. If you want to, you can put a top, just be vigilant of it because these will start to stick and burn. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to it, probably about a tablespoon of butter, and that's gonna keep it from sticking on the bottom of the pan, as well as it's gonna have a little bit more flavor to the grits. So go ahead and just do that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, the grits are cooked. You wanna leave them to boil on a low heat, on about medium low heat, um, for a couple of seconds. You see how it's popping like that? That's what you want them to be doing. Okay, so come back down all the way, all the way down the road. Um, I'm gonna season it. A little bit of black pepper just for color, and I usually do this in my hand just because I don't want to add too much. A little bit. I literally just like a little bit of color, but you want to keep the most of the If you don't have white pepper, that's perfectly fine. You can just go ahead and uh, use black pepper, but I like to keep it white. Um, but I do like a little pepper in my face. Right? Um, don't add any more salt because you're adding cheese in there, and that has a lot of salt content. A little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder I use in everything because garlic powder just makes a difference to your food. I'm telling you, it's good. Right? Um, and then, I don't know why I put out that baby. That's a no no. Um, and then some large seasoned salt. Um, this does have a little bit of salt in it, but it mostly has different flavors and stuff. So, add a little bit of that, just a little bit. And that's also going to add some color to our grits. After you've done that, go ahead, grab your whisk and start running your flavors. You see how they thicken up? That's how you want your grits. You see it adds that color, that's exactly what you want it to do. You want it to have a whole bunch of color, but you do want to, you know, the grits don't gotta be plain white. If your grits are ever come out too liquidy, like you've added too much water, what you can do either is um, put a little bit of cornstarch in a bowl with some cold water, stir it up until it becomes a uh, smooth liquid, then you're going to go ahead and uh, add that into your grits and I will thicken it up just a little bit. Or just add um, more cheese. More cheese you add, the thicker it's going to become. So I'm going to go ahead and add some cheese in here. And go ahead and add that in there. You can do about like, it really depends on how much cheese, but I'm going to do probably about half of that. Now we're going to move our sausages to the back and our gravy, our marinade to the front. I'll put that simmer down. Um, I have about half the pot. You can still see where I have started off at. Um, turn the heat back on now. All right, so I went ahead and poured the marinade back into a measuring cup on the side after I let it get up again. Turn it down because you don't want it too hot. But I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic in here just because I want some fresh garlic. 
um, eight my shrimp and grits. So I'm adding about just a little bit, not too much. And you literally just let that sit for a couple of seconds. It don't need to be that long. It's pretty small, it's immense garden, so it's not gonna take that long. It will produce its own juices, so don't worry about it. Stay into the bottom of the pan. Once you add the roux in there, you'll be good to go. You see, it's already starting to heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn it back down to a low heat, and you're gonna add in two tablespoons of flour. Make sure it's compact properly. Two tablespoons of butter. Let that butter melt and you're going to stir it together and let that combine. This is how you make a roux, is basically a combination of any type of fat. So you can use oil or butter um, mixed with flour, and that's going to help to thicken up any sauce, gravy, or anything that you have that needs a thick consistency. Make sure you have no white pieces in there left. Let it sit. Now, depending on the color of your gravy, that's how long you want to let your roux cook, which is like I said, the, the combination of the fat and the butter. So depending on the color of your gravy, you let that cook. If you want a lighter gravy, don't let it cook for more than a couple of seconds. If you want a darker gravy, let it continue to cook. Once it has cooked down to this consistency and it has like a thick consistency, go ahead and add your liquids in there. So it's about half a cup of the marinade. You're gonna see it start to loosen up again. And then we're also gonna do about half a cup of chicken stock. You can use really any stock that you want, but I'm, um, I'm using chicken stock. You can see it's thick already. Add your liquids in there. This is a uh, lukewarm chicken stock, so it's gonna look like that, but it's gonna um, all come together real good at the end. As well as your gravy, the gravy is finished now. This is the consistency, I like the gravy. Um, you can make it thicker, you can make it looser, it really depends on your likes and preferences. It makes you wanna cover the gravy and the grits because they will get a skin on top of them and that wouldn't be nasty. No one wants to see a skin on top of your grits and gravy. Um, I'm gonna go over here, cut my sausage real quick before I add it into my... Stop! Uh. <laughs> but before I add it into my grits, um, the reason why I cut it open was just to make sure that they're fully cooked because you do not want to uh, have uncooked sausage in there. So I just give them three chops and then a nice rough chop. Honestly, it don't need to be perfect because it's sausage and no one has perfect sausage like that. <laughs> so, just give it a good rough chop. Cut it in half though, because you don't want big old chunks of sausage in there. Make sure y'all can go follow my Instagram, Divine Catering, um, and on Facebook where I'll be posting a lot of my different recipes and different videos of me creating some of my delicious foods. So let's go ahead and add this into the grits, stir that up, and I'll be ready to plate and serve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is that Tonka Buddha? Hi Tonka. You watching your cousin cook some grits and shrimp and sausage? Okay. <laughs> it's time to plate. All right. A couple pieces of shrimp on there. Yes, I'm using my hands, but as you've seen, they are clean. So, a couple pieces of shrimp. Be generous with the shrimp now, y'all. Here comes the gravy. And then a little bit of that homemade gravy. gravy right on top of this.
thank you for tuning in to my new channel, Spiritually Divine Catering. I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. Hit me up to see more recipes and different things of the sorts. Um, I'm going to go eat that bowl now, so I'll see you guys next time.